Join us for the second part of the sixth day in conversation about God creating man in his own image and woman. Thank you for joining us as we continue to talk about the book of Genesis and creation. We split the sixth day into two parts. There was an awful lot that happened that day. It's not to say there wasn't an awful lot that happened in one of the, any of the other days. I mean, you put the moon and the sun in the sky and all of the stars. Well, there's something big that happened and a lot happened on that particular day. But we're going to jump into the second part of uh, what happened on day number six, which is important. Now, the first part, we've already set the stage, the, 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 the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the creatures that are crawling and so forth. Everything else is in place, but the earth is now created and formed. And there, if you can imagine, not a single person is on the face of the earth, not one, but God deals with that. So we jump in to the 26th verse, again, still in the first chapter, which reads, and God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all of the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. You got people that are arguing against that. They don't like the idea that man has dominion over these things, that everything ought to be able to exist and coexist and live. And that's not the part of the plan or the way that the world was created. A lot of the conversation that's happening these days is trying to defute what the Bible has to say about that. And I'm going to stand up against it. I'm going to ask more of you all to stand up against it. And I'm hoping that our conversation on these verses out of the first book of Genesis is, an, is a help. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female, he created them. I'm going to repeat that. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And we jump down to the 31st verse, the conclusion of the first chapter of Genesis, which reads, and God saw everything that he hath made and behold, and it says for the first time, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. <laughs>